Well, look, say this for Syracuse football. They've cornered the market on buzz. The hiring of Fran Brown, the addition of Kyle McCord, this new hype video they dropped on Friday on Syracuse football's Twitter page. SU's getting talked about. Now, whether that translates to wins is the far more important question. Before we go any further, remember to subscribe to the channel. Click on this button below me. You'll be among the first to know when new videos are out. I appreciate the support. Be one with the channel. Now, a school with the greatest communications program in America should deliver hype videos like this. You know SU is going to win that race. It's dramatic. It's high energy. It's hype heavy. And yeah, I could be biased. I may or may not be wearing a Cosmos Pizza t-shirt under this. Shots of pre-dawn workouts in the dark with icy air being blown by the coaches as they bark out orders in their SU winter hats. This, this is what orange football should look like, in our imaginations at least. Splice in some grainy Jim Brown highlights, add in Fran Brown dapping up fans courtside at the Dome, and finish off with a splash of Don McPherson highlights and Kirby Dardar touchdowns. Yeah, I said it, Kirby Dardar touchdowns, and you had me at Dardar. Heck, to finish off, there was even an audio snippet from yours truly claiming Fran Brown had the keys to all of that great New Jersey talent. And if SU football's going to work, it can work with him. Now, the video had fans sharing it across social media platforms. I had it texted to me by friends. And the video has people Googling, what does dart mean? It's, it's football coach stuff. Determination, relentlessness, toughness. It, you get it. But Googling Syracuse football, not something we're used to around these parts. The transfer portal was very, very good to SU. The transfer class rankings in the top 25, according to 24-7 sports. And the unknown for Syracuse, the up side, the potential ceiling, the confidence of Brown, has many analysts wondering if SU football just may have been unlocked. Scroll through YouTube. Here's just some of the headlines you'll see. Syracuse football is a conference contender. Syracuse football is a top ACC team with Kyle McCord. Syracuse football is the ultimate mystery team in 2024. I mean, the only mystery with Syracuse football recently was whether this was going to be the year Dino Babers got fired. There is certainly reason for optimism, something I mapped out much of in my video about Brown's hiring. He has the credibility to call elite recruits because he's been doing that for a two-time national champion down at Georgia. He has the relationship to tap into the Jersey pipeline, which is the single most important talent pool SU can fish in. He's also confident, he's young, and all of this is attractive to 18-year-old athletes looking at schools and their coaches through their feeds on Instagram. But the reality is Syracuse can't get to where it wants to, which is, I would say, a top five program in the ACC and able to compete for a league title unless it leapfrogs other programs. And this, this is where the question steadily falls over your head like another snow squall coming off of the lake. The three new additions to the ACC should be a net positive for SU because Cal and Stanford are ranked worse, lower than SU on many power rankings out there. Boston College and Duke also have new coaches. So Syracuse stands at the starting line right next to both of those programs. Virginia went 3-9 and nine last year, so did Pitt, and Wake Forest won just a single game in the ACC last season. Now, many feel as though SMU could be a top half of the ACC team, but it is their first year in a power conference. North Carolina may fall back after losing star quarterback Drake May, and the dominance of Clemson is clearly over. The Tigers won the league seven of the last eight years before this past season when FSU surpassed them, and the Knowles are complaining every day about how they don't want to be around here anymore. Could there be some shifting blocks in this ACC Tetris? and Syracuse moving up. Now, SU has to hold up its end of the bargain. The transfers have to gel. Brown has to prove he can coach, not just recruit. And Dart has to be a way of life, not just a slogan. And McCord, that guy's got to be great on the field. If you can start at Ohio State, you better be able to start at SU. But if Syracuse actually competes, 
there's enough shaky programs and instability in the conference for the Orange to dare dream of being one of the top six teams in the league? And is that really that crazy of a dream? Because then there's the schedule. Oh, the schedule. Ohio, Holy Cross, UNLV, UConn out of conference, Cal, Stanford, Boston College, Pitt in conference. That could, should be eight wins right there. I know, I know. It's only February. Spring practice doesn't start for another month, but the hype has built steadily like the happy hour line at Dinosaur. And this new hype video has sizzle. Now we got to see if the team's got steak. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Leave your comment below. What's your expectations on this upcoming season, Syracuse football program? First year under Fran Brown, can they put it together? Is it six wins and a bowl game? Is it eight wins? Are Orange fans allowed to dream? And remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking on this button right here. Hey, I appreciate the support, everybody. I'm DA, Damon Amendolara. We'll talk to you next time.